So, what is architecture? What is architecture? I suppose every architect has his own answer. And in the end, uh, architecture is whatever architects call architecture. If you were to come to our school, the Edson, and see the thesis projects, you could find a wide variety of things which are all called architecture. Some of them are almost um, art projects, others are political statements, others can uh, um, offer some um, sense of uh, social uh, compromise. So architecture is all of those things. Of course, uh, no architect would say that architecture is geometry and construction, <laughs> and no more, more than that. But both in uh, our magazines and our criticism and in my teaching in the school, I, um, I tend to think that architecture is the combination of uh, the old Vitruvian you know, qualities of um, soliditas, utilitas and venustas. So it's uh, whatever can be judged from uh, the point of view of uh, the technical uh, you know, construction, structure. It is also function, it is also something uh, that serves society by providing spaces to choreograph uh, social activity. And of course in the end it has to do with this more um, fleeting question of beauty and symbols, all of those things. So you already started to answer the second question, what can architecture do? You talked about society. What can architecture do? I think can do many things. I think we do, we do need architecture. Architecture is architects uh, are sometimes perceived as a luxury, and architecture, again, as um, something that uh, we can only afford if we are very really rich, as a society or as an individual. But I think that uh, architecture is not a luxury product. It's something that. Uh, every one of us needs and that society as, uh, as such also demands. I think we can make uh, life uh, safer, easier, more comfortable, you know, more enjoyable and more beautiful. So um, I think we architects uh, have many things to offer and in the end we are a profession of service. We are not only uh, uh, part of the service sector, but also a profession of service, that often uh, gives more than is expected uh, by society or clients, public or private. Some people would say that uh, engineers maybe are better suited to provide safety and these things you said. So maybe architects uh, can provide beauty or what else uh. is architecture? Well, you know that this this kind of um, dialogue or um, yes, yeah, sort of, of conflict between architects and engineers it comes from the Renaissance and uh, and and it has developed, it has had many phases, but I think it could be safe to say that engineers are more uh, concerned only with the firmitas of Vitruvius, only partially with the utilitas, and very rarely with the Venustas. So, perhaps I'm partial, but I think that architects, we are able to deliver you know, more uh, and the objects and landscapes and the spaces which um, simply are able to uh, meet more criteria of uh, social utility and of course, yes, of beauty. And so, what is your architectural position? You already talked about Vitruvius. Ah, I did talk about Vitruvius, yes. Uh, because in the end, we have, I think we have not grown out of it. Still, we are, when we discuss a building and it's um, whether we should um, support it or criticize it, in the end, we use the same set of values, whether it's, uh, you know, competently built and uh, <laughs> responsible uh, as, a, as, a, as a technical object 
also we try to understand whether it fits well in the city you know it uh, it it it, it uh, houses the functions it is expected to um, to give uh, you know a, a space for adequately and therefore um, maybe you know comfortable and easy to use and, and finally of course uh, what is the symbolic role how it how it speaks to society how it shows uh, that our lives can be more um, full and if we add uh, in the equation this difficult world of beauty uh, maybe you can say a few words about uh, the architectural position of Archit Architectura Viva? It's, it's not different from, from my own, by that meaning that uh, whether you take Vitruvius or Alberti, you know that Alberti spoke about, um, he called uh, Firmitas Solitas, he called uh, um, what we call function, and uh, Vitruvius called uh, Utilitas, he called it Commoditas, which makes it even more clear. And to end, he said, he called uh, beauty no longer venustas, but voluptas, desire, pleasure. And I think this is important, that buildings should be able to deliver, you know, soliditas, uh, also commoditas, and finally, voluptas, pleasure, pleasure for all of us. So when we work in the magazine, we try to provide the best texts, the best images, and we compose them as we could compose uh, the plan of a building to have, um, you know, to be able to transmit competently what they want to do, but at the same time to, to, to be, um, it's a spread <laughs> beautiful in itself. So we, 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 we do try to, to be reporters, you know, and to cover whatever happens and, uh, and uh, to be, you know, critically but uh, ecumenically um, covering the world. But at the same time, we, we do try to do it with a certain uh, aesthetic uh, slant or attitude. So, yes, we do. <laughs> We do try to be fair to the world around and to our colleagues, architects, whose work we publish, but we try to put everything under, you know, um, a matrix or a grid that uh, may perhaps transmit some um, uh, aesthetic uh, pleasure. And uh, what is your design method, for example, when composing a new issue of Arquitectura Viva? We tend to be very, uh, sometimes, uh, very extravagant in imposing a geometry on reality. So we try always to organize, uh, you know, buildings and uh, even paragraphs with a certain, um, say, musical uh, rhythm. So in the end, order and rhythm is what um, guides everything. For instance, if we publish the work of an architect, we try to divide his work in periods that may be understood uh, clearly, and each of them, you know, with the same number of works, so that we try to rewrite his uh, life and his uh, work, giving some order to what initially was not orderly. So we, um, we simply try to create some order in, in the desperate disorder of the world.